Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Uh, maybe I'll just talk without the microphone. So thanks for coming this morning. Um, so what I'll try to do over the next hour is give you a picture of where I think rugby's going and then try to specifically talk about my ideas about coaching kids um, and then you must have a lot of questions. So if you want to be a good coach and you've come here today because you want to be a good coach, then you've got to be curious. You've got to ask questions. Because good coaches don't know a lot. Like at 62, I'm still trying to become a good coach. <laughs> so you've always got to be looking to see how you can improve. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> あの、今日話、話すのよ、1時間ぐらい話、話そうと思いますけれども、あの、これからまあ、ラグビーがどの道辿っているのか少し話したいと思います。あと、あの、皆さん、子供たちとかコーチしてると思いますけれども、あの、
So when you're coaching South African players, you, you, you want to be coaching a defensive game model. So in Japan in 2015, we wanted to coach a team that played with speed. We wanted a team that played with skill. And we wanted a team that played low to the ground. Because the first game we were playing against South Africa and they're up here. So what you've got to understand when you're coaching kids is to understand for each player what their strength can be. So, so if you've got a little team, you've got to understand how, how they can play the game most effectively. Because every player can be effective in rugby. So if I look at again Japan 2015, two of the most important players we had was Kuban Fumi Tanaka. So if you can stand up. Sorry, what's your name? Lee. 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 <laughs> okay, Neve, Neve, Neve. So Neve's taller than Fumi. Honto. <laughs> so, and Fumi played super rugby in New Zealand <laughs> at the highest level. And then he played magnificently at the World Cup in 2015. But he had to be quick, he had to be smart, and he had to be really fit. But then we had a guy like Heskes, who was the opposite. Heskes He was a big guy, no brains, Adamawarui. <laughs> But power. And he scored the winning try for us. So then you've got to understand the strengths of each player. And then you've got to try to put them together into a team that can play collectively. So particularly when you're coaching kids, you've got to understand the individual strength of a player. And then find a way to put them together to play a collective game. So a question I have for you. So the, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer this question. So the team you're coaching, what are the three words that describe your team? What are the three words that describe your team? So you can write it down or write it in your head. Uh, 30 seconds. I'm going to ask about three or four people to share their three words. Okay, let's come back together. Uh, someone in the back corner. Uh, no, no, energetic, inexperienced. Genki, genki by, uh, okay. Inexperience. But they're um, a bit introverted. But they're willing, they're curious and they're willing to learn. Okay, good, good. Someone in the back corner? Um, they've got a uh, strong feeling of wanting to win. Um, they're very individualistic and, and, and um, so the joy, individual, individual skills, and the spirit to win. Spirit to win. Okay, good. Someone up the front here. Yeah. Uh, a tall, um, keen, and um, make this one word: miss tackles. 
<laughs> Defensively weak. Okay. So again, you should have a picture in your head of what your team's like. A really clear picture of how what your team's like. And that then forms your coaching plan. So one of the other interesting things about coaching is coaching staffs now. Nearly everyone's got a big coaching staff. And even kids teams have now got more than one coach. So when I first started coaching Japan in 2012, I had one assistant coach. Now, at professional level, most, most coaches have got at least four. Who here has got an assistant coach? One, two, three. So that presents a challenge. Because every time a coach speaks, you want the players to have the same message. それぞれのプレイヤーには同じメッセージを伝えないといけないので難しくなってきます。And when you got more than one coach, the same message can sound different. で、同じメッセージがあのいろいろなあのコーチからいろいろな解釈ができてしまいます。So for instance, I'll give example Santori on the weekend. さ、今週末のサントリーですけど。Santori played Kabuto on the weekend. クボタと試合しました。And Santori want to go back and play. Their, their own traditional style of rugby. So, for the previous two years, they've been coached by a New Zealander. They wanted Santori to play New Zealand rugby. Now, there's a Japanese coaching and he wants them to play Japanese rugby. But he's got four assistant coaches. And the message to the players has been mixed. They don't really understand. Understand how they want to play. So be aware when you've got more than one coach, you've got to make sure your messages are, are, are very much in sync. Again, you've got to have a strategy about how you want to play the game. So, sorry, what was your name? The, the, Roy. Roy. Will. Roy. Roy. Big Roy. Big Roy up the back. Roy. How, can, who can remember what Roy said about his team? Roy said, what were the three words? What were the three words? Inexperience. Inexperience. Athletic. Energetic. Okay. So what sort of game do you think Roy's team can play? Could, could be, defensive game. Defensive. What do you concentrate on Roy with the kids? Tempo. Tempo. Chose to play with tempo? Tempo. So then if you play with tempo, how, how, do, you, how do you set up your training session? Okay. So small stoppages. Yeah, good. So again, tempo means a lot of different things. So just take 10 seconds now to think about what's your definition of tempo in rugby. Right, remember, you can't leave the room until you answer the question. So you better get in quick, guys. So the questions get harder as we go along. Okay, I'm going to come to you first. What's Tempo? What's your name? Renee. Renee. Renee's going to tell us. What's your definition of Tempo? Like playing at a pace that the children can understand and Okay, play at a pace, yep. Good. Good. Okay, uh, who else we got here? Okay, Canterbury. Mr. Canterbury. Yeah, it's a term of switching and practice and practice. 
the town. So transitional? Yeah, transitional, yes. It's okay. Okay, good, good. Not wrong. Nothing's wrong, nothing's right. Yep. Pass. Okay, yep. Pass uh, cycle. The U. Yeah. <laughs> Synchronized. Synchronized. Okay. So to me, it has, they're all right, all right. None of them are wrong. Because whatever you think is right, uh, tempo to me is moving the ball quickly. Being able to move the ball quickly. And there's a couple of opportunities where you can increase the tempo of the game. The tempo of your attack to me is moving the ball quickly. To increase the tempo of the game, there's opportunities to take quick taps. There's opportunities to take quick line outs. So that means getting to the line out quickly and winning it quickly. And the other opportunity is to take quick scrums. So play the ball in and out of the scrum quickly. So play channel one. In and out quickly. So to me there's two definitions of tempo. But again, with your team, make sure if you're using words like tempo, they under everyone understands what you're talking about. Because as you can see in this little room here, we've got different definitions of tempo. So imagine what's going on inside some of your players' heads. And then you've got to be able to train it. So I'm, I'm going to go through that on the field today. We just start with that with young kids. The, fir the first thing about playing rugby is that you've got to be brilliant at the basics. So again, now I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Write down what, what do you think the basics of the game are. What are, your, what are your basics of the game? What are your fundamentals of the game? So just have a quick think about it. Write it down or put it in your head. Right, okay. Big fella, what's your key basic of the game? Communication and teamwork. Okay, so you got communication. Good. Teamwork, Team communication and teamwork, yep. Uh, I was going to say catching, passing, tackling, right. catch, uh, support pass. play, talk. So I catch, could've... catch, pass, communication again. Can we write on this? Yes, of course. But I thought you can uh, How can you write on Yeah. Okay. So we've got uh, communication. <clears throat> teamwork. Catch pass. Who else had catch pass? Okay, catch pass at the store. Okay, fair few. Anyone have catch pass support? That's about support or anything. Good, I like you. What's your name? Mike. Mike. Catch pass support. Good. Okay, what else do we have? Long hair up the back. I'm envious of you. I always wanted to have hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, running together. Yeah, yeah. So we'll call that movement, hey? <laughs> movement in synergy. Anyone else have that? Yeah. Okay, what else? What have we got? Tackle, yeah, yeah. Break down. So contest areas, tackle, breakdown skills. Okay. Defense. Who had defense? Tackle. Yep, good. Breakdown skills. Yep, good. Do we have anything outside of that, guys? 
positioning. Positioning the. Okay, so we might include that in movement. Okay, decision making. Uh, yeah, well, that relates to everything, doesn't it? I'm done with this. Sorry? Yeah. Continuity. Continuity. Yeah. Okay, so put that over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got context for his continuity. Yeah. Okay, so none of that's wrong yet. Need yeah. into space. Moving the space, which is probably here. I did a much more. No, probably space. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Anything else to add, guys? Is it good? Is it Discipline. So we'll put that over there. Should be made in discipline. Good. Anything else? Yep. Respect. 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 So I'll put that over there as well. Yeah. Anything else? Missing anything? Yes. Kick. Kick, kicking skills. Great. Kicking Fantastic. Kicking. Fantastic. Running. Running. I think we've got movement there. Yeah. So movement for this. Set piece, yeah. Set for piece. Right, fantastic. So just just my definition would be well, that's not you are. the fundamentals of the game. The ball up. Yeah. The attack fundamentals is catch pass support. Attack is catch pass support. Your yeah, defense fundamentals defense is tackling and all the things to do with tackling. Defense, then you've got your continuity skills, which are breakdown skills and kicking skills. Kicking. And then you've got your contest skills, which are set piece so, yeah, and breakdown skills. Set piece breakdown. And these are important. Communication communication, communication covers everything. So tell me, who practices communication and training? Communication or training and training. Okay, how do you do it? How do you do it? With respect to decision making, whether we go to the right or left, we communicate with each other. Otherwise, Okay, so encourage the players to say left or right. Who's got a different way of doing it? Yeah? They can close their eyes and then pass. で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
Okay, so that's a pretty comprehensive map there. So you want to be catching catch pass skills, defense skills, breakdown skills, set piece skills, kicking skills. Everything involves communication, teamwork, and then your key values are discipline, respect, and so integrity. So how do you fit all of that in the session? So I'll tell you the most interesting thing that's happened in rugby. Is that the games gone went professional in 1996? So when I played rugby, as amateur, we trained Tuesday, Thursday night for two hours, four hours, and you do your weight training by yourself. So I used to do weight training before I go to school and work. Now you're a professional team. How, how long? How many hours a week do you think we train? Have a guess. Thirty. What did you say? Thirty-five. That's a big week, mate. <laughs> That's a big week. So I'm talking about on the pitch. Twenty. Twenty hours. Okay, going down to twenty. What do we reckon? Someone up the back there. Two hours. Yeah. Be lucky to do two and a half hours. So training time's gone down. And we still have to do all these things. Communication, see what happens. See what happens. Uh, that's alright. No, we can. You got a picture in your head? <laughs> Sorry. Why is it going down to two and a half hours? Uh, because the game's so physical now. So, if we play a test match on a Saturday, we basically can't start training till Tuesday. Players are so sore. And so, the amount of training we do now is less, and we still have to do all of those sort of things. So, in, ter in terms of your your team, how many hours a week do you have to train? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. So in an hour and a half, how do you fit all of that in? That's the greatest challenge you've got as a rugby coach. So I'll go back again to what we started with, know the strengths of your players. Know the strengths of your players. Individually and collectively. Decide on a style of play. And then you have to train it. So the style of play, what are your key fundamentals? And then how do you put those fundamentals into 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 a style of play. That's the greatest challenge for you. Greatest challenge. So you need to be able to attack. You need to be able to defend. You need to be able to keep the ball going, which is your continuity. And you need to be able to contest. So how do you do that? Effectively. Well, I tell you, no one really knows. <laughs> but what you can do is be very good in this area. Understand the strengths of your players. Understand what they need. What they need, not what you want to give them. What do your players need? And generally speaking, it's going to be more on the collective than the individual because you just don't have time to do it. And you have to educate the players to do their own skills individually.
彼は各個人選手たちが自分で練習してあの、えー、向,上向上心を高めることが必要です。I was talking to Fumi, Fumi Tanaka the other day. On Monday. And he was saying at the age of eight, he started practicing passing by himself at home. By himself. Because you don't get that opportunity of training to practice it. So if you want your players to be good, and they all want to be good, every player wants to be good. それぞれの選手みんなうまくなりたいです、ね。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。みんなはもう一番のトップレベルでプレイしたいからうまくなりたい。ミキがじゃあ,あのパスのミキがじゃあちょっとこっちの方に来てください。ミキがじゃあ,あのパスのミキがじゃあちょっとこっちの方に来てください。ミキがじゃあパスがじゃあパスがじゃあパスがじゃあ So, is, uh, is that your father? Okay, you got a mother? What? It's at home. So, if you practice passing to your mother 10 passes a day, every day. So, that's 70 a week. 70 times. How many weeks is there in a year? 52. That's 3,500 plus passes. Imagine in, in a year how much better you can get by doing 10 passes. And that's what you've got to encourage your kids to do. That's the only way they can improve their fundamental skills. And then, as a coach, then. You've got to find a way to coach attack effectively, defense effectively. Continuity and contest. And I always use a spectrum. So, spectrum is like this. Like this. Where you have drills here. And games here. So, the more experienced your team is, the more you have to coach down this area. こっちの方のコーチングを増やすね。The more experienced your team is, もっと経験を積むと、こっちの右側の方に連れていかないといけない。Now drills, drills are a simple, repetitive practice. ドリルは簡単なあのもう毎回繰り返す。They have to be progressively harder. でもっともっと難しいする必要がある。So it might be a two-on-one attack drill. So you got a nine here. みたいちのスキルを。Two attackers. One defender. So they practice two on one. So that's, that's a fundamental attack drill. So then you build that up into 2v3, 3v4, and then you play a game. And if I was coaching at your level, I'd always be starting each of those, each of those areas with that drill. Where I'm checking the fundamental skills of the players. But as soon as they've done it, I move on. Why would I move on? So remember when you were at school? Who can remember when they were at school? Renee can. She's young enough to remember. Anyone else can remember? Yeah. So remember you started your, in primary school. You started your times table. Do you remember one times one? Knee times knee. Sun, sun. Yong, yong. Go, go. What did the teacher do? Every day he'd move on. So why do I see rugby coaches keep doing the same drill over and over again? Doesn't make any sense. 
すぐ、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか
start to see that your your players start to success more than 70 percent, then you move on to the next drug. Change the drug. And as your percentage on that drug is zero, the failure rate is so high. Do you go to easier drugs? Yeah. If you buy more things, then it's a little more difficult. Great question. Yeah. That we found that in the Japanese context, where the Japanese tend to be very perfectionist in point. Well, you won't know that at the end. All 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 of us. All right. Instilled that and manage that. Yeah. Again, great question. Um, so when I first came to Japan, I'd have players in tears. Because they didn't like to fail. And even yesterday at Suntory, uh, we had a much tougher session. And you can see the players at the end, these are experienced players. They don't like it, but you just got to keep talking to them. Keep telling them this is how we improve. Because the one thing in life we know is true, right? The one thing in life we know is true. What's your name? Henry. Henry. So, Henry, if he trains at this level, right? And as soon as he gets under pressure, as the pressure comes to him, he'll drop down to his level of training. Now, if his level of training high, he'll absorb that. If his training levels low, he'll drop down. You've got to, you've got to coach your kids to be able to, to accept the highest level of pressure. And if you've got little teams, which is the case in a lot of times in Japan, and you're playing against a bigger team, that physical pressure, the players will go back to their level of training. Now, if you've coached them to absorb pressure and to absorb failure, they'll fight. They'll fight. Now, when I mean fight, is that they'll give their best. But if, if you train them to be only successful in perfect situations, they'll go into the shell. Okay, any question, else, questions on that? I'll, just, I'll come to you next. Dozo. There's two questions. The first one is um, when you're training once a week, um, uh, you do one drill the following week, um, they still can't do it. What do you do? And the second question is um, uh, uh, there are some players you can so do. So, first question you have to go to church a lot and pray. Uh, well, that's going to happen. When you're only training once a week, it's difficult. So, what I would do with that, I give them. So say for instance, if I use this 2v1 drill as an example, I do that at the start of every session. So I give them some success, and it might take three weeks. But as soon as you get to the three weeks, because you have to give them some success. So you might stay in the same thing for a while then. And go to church and pray. And they're going to get better. Yeah. And the, second, the second question yeah. is um, uh, you have players who can do the 70 30, uh, but there are other players who are probably more higher failure rates. What do you, what do, you do when there's like the difference uh, in player? Yeah, we've got to make a decision. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a coaching decision where the whether you go with the 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 highest level or you stay with the bottom level. And that'll depend a little bit about the culture of the club and the culture of, of, of the organisation. Um, yeah, if you if you want to be a a good team, then you go with the highest level. If it's more about 
それぞれの選手たちのレベルとかも。そこでどの選手をどういうふうにプレーにしていますか。私は5、6歳の幼児をコーチしています。その年齢だとちょっと難しいですね。僕僕の世界になります。その5、6歳の年だとやっぱりみんな自分のことしか考えてなくて、それをどうやって快適に変えるべきなのかっていう。私最初の体育の教師してたんです。最初5、6歳の子供いました。キャッチパスをしようとしました。And やってくださいって言ったら、まあ、子供たちがそれを。ファンタスティッククラブ。それがうまくいきました。そう、I think um, I'd start off with just passing, don't worry about forward or back. まずはパスパスだけ後ろ前とかの関係。で、なんかボール後ろにパスしたらなんだかそれをこうあの、ここ褒美を渡すとか。The if, if I'm the next support player, I'm always going to be able to see the number on his back. And that's why kids remember that really well. So if I'm here now, I can't see the number on his back. I'm not in a position to receive the ball. But if I'm here now and I can see the number on his back, I'm in a position to receive the ball. So I think that's a really powerful coaching tool, and it relates, relates to all players. Like the big thing in support play, you've got to be able to see is the number on the player's back. If you're here, you're not in a good support position. If I'm here now, 
I'm in a fantastic sport position. And now I can do anything. I can take a, I can take a pop pass. I can take an offload. I can clean out. So it's a really important point. Great question and really important point. And on that, like teach young kids to catch the ball early. Don't allow them to catch the ball here. And again, that's a success failure rate. So you, can, you should never see kids catching the ball here. Because if they catch it here when they're 5 and 6, when they're 15, 16, they'll catch it there. Because that's And then basically you can never teach them how to catch and pass. So that's really important. And it's hard because they don't want to catch there. That's uncomfortable. But that's what you've got to teach them. Okay. So we're getting some good questions now, guys. Someone else, yes? ま、できるだけこう um, in order to achieve that 70-30 success value of raise, what's your recommendation in terms of trying to get players quickly to the 70% success uh, raise? Is it, do you have any sort of suggestions in uh, coaching methods? You, always, the standard you want, you've got to have a clear picture in the player's head. So, so you've got to model the behaviour you want. So, for instance, catch pass. What do I want? I want to catch early. Catch early means that I catch before my midline. So I'm catching there. So you've got to make sure the players understand that, model it. And most players learn by seeing. They don't learn by talking. So there's a lot of science in the world that says the information I'm giving you now, you probably only absorb 7% of it. And most of you will be learned by, by doing and seeing. So with, with kids particularly, when you're talking, keep your expressions really short. So really short, sharp, image type expressions, so early catch, demonstrating, demonstrating, rewarding good behaviour, players who aren't able to do it find a way they can do it. An early catch for some might be here and some might be here. Don't, don't be absolute particular on technique, it's the concept, that's, it's the intent that's important. So the intent of catching early is if I catch here now, early, I've got time to pass. If I catch late, it gives me less time to, to pass. So catch by the intent, don't catch by absolute technique. Does that make sense? Reward, praise. Keep varying the practice, but make it clear in the head of the standard that you want. Okay, does that answer your question? So, Shibuya Robert are very um, inclusive, and even in under 12s, we have um, absolute beginners, <laughs> and some have been playing five, six more years. So our any drill we do uh, under 12s, I will probably have some near 10% <laughs> and some at 100 at the, when I first started. So that's how we I go. And the way we get around that is to on the individual feedback. I don't know where you stand on. We try to set up drills where we we're lucky to have a few coaches, um, and we run the drills and we we, we try to give that one-to-one -one feedback, even if it's just a quick sentence after. Where do you stand on? the power of that individual feedback, particularly for technique. On yeah, that. massive, massive. Right. So important. Yeah. But again, the feedback, yeah. make it make it, make it, it more image-like. Yeah, yeah. Short expressions, 
Um, but fantastic. So if you can do that, that's even better. Ah, no, I'm not sure. 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 あの効果出ると思いますけれども、どう思われますかと、えー、答えとしては三つ重要ですね。一対一のコミュニケーション評価、えー、イメージ作りっていうのは非常に重要になります。So again, catch pass. You want to catch early. キャッチパス。Run straight. 早く飛ぶ。でまっすぐ走る。And then pass. で、And、passing. The only thing I worry about passing is hands go to the target. Don't worry about anything else. When they start there, when they start here. Whether And then defense, get your body, you got to stop the person, get your body in front,、uh, you track, track the player. So, generally, with kids again, in defense, you want to make sure you're only, they're only given one side. So, if you're running at me, what's your name? You're going to try. Yeah. y u s k i runs at me. I want, to, I want to track to give him one side. One of the most important things in rugby is to keep, is to keep your body compact. Because then you're safer, you're much safer. So everything you do, so catch, pass, and compact. Everything, everything's tight. When I'm making a tackle, you run at me. I'm tight, I'm here. So I've got my hands up all the time. So you should see kids at training always have their hands up ready. まあ、私,の私のチームだと11歳、12歳ですけれども、みんな結構個人主義で、えー、ボールを持ってパスしないですぐ自分で走,走ってきたからと。まずは子供たちに何を,何を見たかっていうのをちょっと問いかけるのがいいかもしれないです。何を見たか。You still stop it. Yeah. You stop it. So, right. So, you had the ball here. What did you see? Did you see, that, did you see the support player? So, if you saw the support player, you saw the defender. What do you think you should have done? 
you know, more and more today, and it doesn't matter what level you coach at, it's more about questioning the players. And the big thing again is to ask them where their attention is. Because you've got to teach players to see the game. And a lot of times, just that prompting or, 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 or send a message in the head, well, maybe I should have passed the ball. And then the second time he does it, he said, right, what did you see? So is that the same as the previous time? What was different this time? So what made you make the same decision? So give, that's his problem, not your problem. So let him have the problem, let him work it out. And then he's a good enough player to work it out. If he's not, then he's not. You know, you can only just keep helping him. But never stop trying. Because you can always change your play. Never stop trying. Great question again. Right, we got any other good questions? It's a good group. Yeah, big fella. Adidas, like Adidas, mate. <laughs> I'd like to ask a question about sort of uh, training throughout the course of the year. Uh, and you previously stated that as 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 you approach a test match. Um, your training levels uh, or the, the amount of training decreases as you get closer to a game? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 coach. I coach grade six level kids and I try to implement that same concept. Um, and so once summer approaches, after summer, they try and decrease the amount of training, but some kids don't keep up with that. Uh, what is your recommendation in terms of uh, kids at that age group? Should they keep on training um, uh, leading up to the matches at, this, at the same amount, or should they be decreasing training? Yeah, I think his question was on um, involvement, involvement of the head, head coach. Oh, involvement of the head coach. Involvement of the head coach. It's it's uh, involvement of the head coach. Yeah, so. Or should okay. the children do by themselves? Okay. Yeah, well, the, again, that's judgment. Um, yeah, you know, generally, to get a, get a team to be self-driven and the coach itself, it takes at least four years. What is it? That's, 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 that's the reality. Um, that you have to see Roger Federer has a coach, or did have a coach. He's the best tennis player in the world. Because he needed someone to tell him to do the things he didn't want to do. Because if you just let the players go out there, like you see it now, the kids are all doing the things they want to do. So if you don't have a coach, they just do what they want to do. Like hum human nature. Like we go out there, some blokes will want to sit down, some blokes will want to have a cigarette, some people want to have a coffee and some people want to train. And you'll, you'll all do what you want to do. So everyone always does what they want to do. <laughs> Coaches are there to make the players do what they don't want to do. Because there's parts of these games that players don't want to do. Like, is hard. It's hard. But you've got to get the players to do it if they want to do it. Right? And they all want to be good. They all want to be good. As I said, you know, when I started in their own way. They all want to be good. And your job is to find out how you can make it good. You started with this tantalising question about how, how the future might look nearly 30 years after the game went professional. What, what do you think will be different in the next chapter? Oh, um, well, I reckon there's two sorts of games. That you have, at, at the highest level, you have really high contest games. テストが。で、ゲームプレイ。で、ギャップ um, and your job as coaches is to prepare the players to play either of those. 
So they have contest skills and continuity skills. Contest and attack skills and defense skills. So your job is to make sure, if you're catching any kid here, your job is to make sure they're playing the game in 10 years' time. Because they love it so much. Because you're giving them the skills that allows them to be successful. That's your job. So the future Japanese rugby is in your hands. So I think we've got to go. We can probably have one more question. Yeah, last one. I'm coaching nine year old kids. <laughs> Our team is like a known for strong tackling, getting there. Uh, there are some players who've been doing it for two years but just still can't get the grip, grips on tackling properly. So what, what kind of things do you recommend to bring up those kids who are not very good at tackling to become better? Uh, well, some players will never tackle. <laughs> so remember Yamada? Yamada Senshi, you're working on Played for Japan. Never made a tackle in his life. But again, you just got to encourage them to make tackles. Just praise them when they do it. Um, and even just effort. Praise their effort. Like, last point I want to make before we break up is. Say what you well, it's really, there's effort versus skill. What about skill? And we've spoken about skill today, which is really important. But as a coach, you've got to make sure you're always praising the effort of the players. So even if they get in the position to make a, a tackle, that's good effort. Praise them. And then they might be encouraged to make a tackle. But there's no, there's no special uh, <laughs> patient I can give you there. <laughs> so guys, I hope that's been useful this morning. Um, so I've got no idea what these level these kids are. So I'm going to experiment to see how we can, how we can get them to effectively play a game of rugby. So it's not very good. I apologise in advance, uh, but I'll give it a go. All right. Thank you. Uh, so hopefully over the next day we'll have a bit of fun with the kids. So guys, we're going to play a game to start with because I need to check what skill level you're at. So we're going to play a game. So I want you to find a pair, someone your same size. Okay. So we're going to play a game, guys. So the game's pretty simple. So we're going to start off with uh, your knee, aren't you? Knee's going to have the ball. Every time you catch the ball, you've got to call out the number of passes. So you throw the ball. Ichi. Knee. And you've got to keep the ball away from the opposition. Every time you catch, you've got to touch the ground and then pass the ball. And you can't pass it back to the same player. Got it? You can go anywhere you want. You can go on top of the mansion if you want to. Okay, you can go on top of the clubhouse, doesn't matter where you go. You can go back to Shinjuku. Doesn't matter where you go. As soon as the ball touches the ground, then you guys get the ball. And you've got the same job. 
So for the coaches, we're going to do a communication drill to start. Communication drill is the coach. Okay, when we get them communicating to each other. So before you start, guys, I want you to make a little circle. Make sure you know each other's name. Do you know all your names here? Get in a little circle. Share your names. Okay, make a circle. Okay, right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go Reds, what the ball? Let's go. Okay. Okay, Reds have got the ball. Come in, come in quickly. Let's jog it in, yellows. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Right, so do you know what your job is here? Okay, you've got to stop, you've got to try to get the ball off the ball. So guys, what are you going to do? Keep the ball. Move the, the ball by passing it. Pass the stick. Okay, you're right. You just go. Okay, what's your name? We're going to start with Taiha. You've got to touch the ground first. Then as you pass, that'll be Ichi. Knee. Touch the ground, sun. Okay, Yong. Right, we've got the idea. Okay, let's start. Let's go. Let's okay, circle. Go. 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 Get the yellow. Go on, yellow. Get in the way, yellow. Go on, knee. Go, guys. Go, go, go. Good start. She. Okay, Aka ball, Aka ball, Aka ball. Itchy. Knee, good. Okay, change to your ball. To your ball. Go ahead and get the ball. Itchy. Change, Aka ball, Aka ball. Itchy. Go on, chisato. Go for it, guys, go for it. Go on, fight for it. Good, she, well done, Freddy. Okay, Kiro ball, go. Itchy. Well done, well done. Knee. Okay, so coaches, what are we immediately seeing? Can we get the coaches together? Can we get the coaches together? Not much communication. Okay, communication is almost zero. Communication zero. They're probably nervous. Okay. They're bunching up. So how do you stop them chasing the ball? You could. That's one way. What else could you do? Looking for space. Yeah, you could tell them to look for space. Or let them work it out themselves. So I'm going to let them work it out themselves. See what happens. Okay, let's go. So guys, just before we start, the only voice I hear at the moment is mine. So guys, I'm going to let you guys hear my voice. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys hear my voice. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys hear my voice. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys hear my voice. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys hear my voice. Okay, so you all want the ball. So get yourself in the position where you can get the ball. Okay. I'm going to call out who can get the ball. Red, go. Red, go. Go. Red ball, go. Go. Okay, touch the ground. Good. Touch the ground. One. Two. Good. Three. Good. Four. Excellent. Well done. Zero ball. One. Red ball, red ball, touch the ground, red ball. Yogi, 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 Three, excellent, four. Brilliant, guys, brilliant. Gives it to the round of the ball. Two, five, well done. So just come in quickly, come in quickly. 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 Come Come in quickly. Come in front of me. Why do you think that was better? Um, because people were spreading out more and um, uh, the people who had the ball were looking for more options. Fantastic. You should be a coach. What's your name? Coach. Dale. Dale. Dale's going to be the next coach. Dale is the next coach. Hey, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so let's, next time we do it, let's see if we can get even in more space. So how do you think you can get in more space? Can someone apart from Dale leave? Okay, so so keep a position away from the ball. Excellent, excellent. So see if you can get in space. Have you girls touched the ball yet? No. So you got to try to touch the ball, hey? All right, I'm going to let you start with the ball. There you go. Ready? Go. 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 One. Excellent. Well done. Two. Well done, Dale. Dale the coach. Two. Yuki, Yuki, do you play American football? I'm a So guys, okay, just come in again. We're going to add one more rule now. Okay. 
took a hike of stairs. So every time you catch the ball, you've got to catch it in front of you. You can't catch it on your chest. Why do you reckon that's important? Dale. No, someone else apart from Dale. <laughs> yeah, Freddie. So it's easier to pass quickly and move more. Okay. Excellent. So in rugby, when you catch here, you're able to pass quickly. Do you think that's right? You don't know. We might be right. All right, so let's give it a go. You've got to catch up your chest now. Yeah. Ball catches the ground. Right. Right. Ball, 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 England jersey. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia, you can start with the ball. Where you go? Okay, touch the ground first. Touch the ground first. One. Bad luck. Bad luck. Get it out of there. One. Dale go two, three, well done, great catch, four, catch off your chest. No, oh, no, big fella, where did you catch the ball? Look where the catch is Catch out, reach out, reach out. Okay, let's spread it. Let's go, 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 go. Pick it up, pick it up. My ball, my ball, my ball, my ball, my ball. Let's go, let's go, go, go. and come back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> try by the other end. So we'll see if they can get into space a bit more. And I'll emphasize early catch. Okay, guys, come in, come in. Okay, that was really good. So we made some really good improvements there, really good improvements. Remember about early catch? Early catch, So always got to catch early. Catch in front, catch in front. Never catch on your chest. All right, always catch early. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You're eating. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to play the game. Remember the pair you're with? I want you to get you with your pair now. So I want the yellow. Okay, we're going to play a game called Brumbies now. Brumbies, the game or smas. Who knows what competition the Brumbies play? Brumbies the team are Dono and Nagami League and Hyde Kastemaska. Super rugby, super rugby, super rugby. Okay. So we've got. So this game's a bit hard, guys. So this is going to test you. Okay. So, yellow team, you're always playing to the longest end. Does that make sense? <laughs> so if you get the ball here, you're always attacking down that end. Oh. If you get the ball here, you're attacking down that end now. Right? Ball to the place where you're going to get the ball from the top of the ball. So you're going to get the ball from the top of the ball. Got it? So you can only mark him. You can only defend him. So now you're in pairs. And the person you're with is the only person who can defend you. <coughs> got it? So yellow team's got to move, you can only move the ball to here and then you've got to pass to a yellow team member. And then the yellow team's got to try to score down that try line. Okay, so you can score a try by running or passing to a teammate any direction. Okay, and then you score the try, then you come back. Has anyone got a question? Yeah. Stop the person, how do you do it? Stop, touch. Touch the person. One hand. One hand. One hand. One hand. Okay, so it's quite a difficult game, so I'm going to test you a little bit. So you guys can't go past this line. You guys can't go past this line. So it's safe, you've got the ball, you've got to come here now and you've got to find a yellow teammate. Got it? 
Yeah. You probably don't, but we'll play anyway. Okay, so let's start down that end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so ready, spread out, guys. Spread out. Spread out. Get into space. Find your partner. Find your partner. Okay, let's go. Dale, back this way. This way, mate. Well done, well done. Move, move, move. Good work. Good, good. Well done. Excellent. Good. Well done. Fantastic. Really well to get you. Yeah. Uh, touch there. So red ball there. Red ball there. Touch. Drop the ball. Yellow ball. Yellow ball. Well done. Good pass. Excellent. Well done. Did you get him, Yuki? Yeah, you, Yuki, you got to yell out, mate. I can't hear you. Yeah. Try, try. Red ball there. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. Go. Way you go, way you go. Yellow ball, yellow ball. Go, go. Well done. What is that? Oh, great ball. Oh. OK, let's change. All right, let's have a break. Go and have a drink of water. Come back there. in a minute. Hey, Mr. Mizzou. OK. Is just play a few games to get them going. So I'm um, a gamer, gamer, gamer stare. Concentrate on catching early. Probably seen a little bit of improvement there. Again, if I was catching kids, I'd always start with games like that. Just communication, simple catch pass games. And now I'll go into a rugby game with them. Any questions? You, you only ever praise them. Yeah. Uh, as I observed that, yeah. which is basically what we did too. Do you ever admonish? Uh, kids? Very rarely, mate. That's what I thought. Mm. Thank you. And very rarely with senior players now. Right. Mm. They, they, they're not like society's different now, isn't it? You know, everyone brings up like I had an easier life than my father. My daughter's got an easier life than me. Yeah. You know, so every society's different. So I think you've got to you've got to try to find their strengths. Try to praise them as much as possible. Uh, and then, then if you are going to correct them, correct them individually on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? Any questions? Yeah. 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 So now we're going to play the full pitch, guys. And we're going to play rugby. But the rules uh, you need to understand. Okay, so we've got a ball. Ball Ball So now, if you've got the ball, Freddie, and you get, I touch you, right? So we'll make it one handed touch. If I touch Freddie, you've got to go to the ground. Go to the ground. No, go to the ground. Ground, then you go. And I want you to place it back long. Do we know what that means? Yeah. Okay, then we need a second man over the ball. And the second man needs to be over the ball and have his head up. Have your head up. Perfect. So that's what we expect. Alright, where are your hands going to be? Show me, show me. So can everyone do that? Does anyone not understand that? You're right? Okay. So when you touch, you've got to go down, place the ball, and then you can play from there. But I'm going to have a second ball, and sometimes I'm going to use a second ball, and then you react to the second ball, okay? You got it? Yes, Dale. Um, can the opposition also um, go over? No, no, we're going to let them keep the ball. So there's no contest at the breakdown, all right? Good question again, mate. Good question again. All right, so we're going to play for about 10, 15 minutes. How many tries do you think we can score? <laughs> what do you reckon? Touch it out. Touch it out. Touch it out. No, 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 no. Okay, when you, when you don't do it properly, it's a turnover. Go, go, your ball. Play on, play on. Touch there, down, down, one over. Well done, excellent, good stuff. Well done, Dave. 
Okay, well done. Yeah, well done. Okay, just one thing we can improve. Okay, just one thing we can improve. うまくできるようになりたいと思いますけど。どっちの方向を走った？トライラインどこ？ここトライラインはどこですか？まっすぐ走ろう。ここ走ったらどこ行っちゃう？マンション入っちゃう。どのマンション入りたいの？何 ？Top floor? Second floor? Second floor? Third 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 floor? Okay, your ball. Let's go. Go. There you go. Good pass. Well done. Run straight. Run straight. Well done. Touch there. Well done. Okay. That's fantastic. Why is this boy fantastic? What did he do? He went over at the right time and did the right way. Twice. Not once. Twice he did it. Twice. Fantastic. Well done. What's your name? Okay, you've got the ball. Go, go, your turn to attack. Touch there, one over, one over. That's well done. Well done, good pass. Okay, just hold it in, that's not bad. Come in, come in, jog it in, jog it in. But what am I hearing now? Yeah, so now. You've got to call out the person's name you're receiving the ball from. Right, so what are you going to call out, Tai Hei? Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. Okay, good. And best is Eddie left or Eddie Hidari. So I, I want the name plus the action that you want. Can you remember that? The name plus the action. So you've got to call out the name plus Hidari to Migi pass. Left to right pass. Yeah? Do you think you can do that? Does anyone know the difference between the left and right? Does anyone need tape to put on their hand? Dale, does anyone not know the left or right? Alright, put up your left hand. Okay, we're all good. Okay, so let's go. Okay, So we're going to start here. You're going to have the ball. Away you go. 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 Raiko, great clean out. Go ahead, go ahead. Well done, well done. Touch there, one over, well done, go ahead. Good, good, well. I love that. Oh, it's great. Guys, that is so much better. ずっと上手くなったね。That is so much better. Come in. はい、みんな来てください。Just being a team. 今、今の時間で。個人的になっただけれども、チームチームが作れたね。チームみたいにプレイできるようになってきたね。Okay, do you want to give it a go for another five minutes? もう5分できるかな。See how good we can get. もっと上手くなるように。So remember, what do we got to do? 何をしないといけない？覚えて。Call out the name plus the action. Call 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 out the name some good people coach Japan, mate. <laughs> hey, you could be another one of them. Let's go, let's go. Your ball. Down, Dale, down. One over, one over. Well done. Good job, good job. 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 Good job.
So why couldn't Henry catch the ball there, guys? Henry, why didn't he catch the ball there? Because he was standing right behind Edo. Right, because the ball was there, and Henry was here, wasn't he? Henry, he was there. So he wasn't in a position to get the ball. He was in a position to get the ball. So we're going to add one more thing now. So we're going to add one more thing now. If you're the support player, you've got to be able to see the name on the back. Okay, now I can see the name on the back. And I can call Henry left. And now I'm perfect position. Whereas before Henry was here, and he couldn't get the ball. So if you're in a support player, what are you going to be able to do? Tell me. What are you going to be able to do? Support player, where do you need to stand? Come up close. Come closer. Come up close. 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 So first thing we've got to call out the person's name. What's the second thing we've got to be able to do, Freddie? Okay, and how do we get in the supporting position? Support on the show. See the back of their jersey. Okay, see the back of their jersey. Okay, can you tell me that again? 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 Excellent. Okay, so you're going to have to see the name on the back. So three things. Okay, so this is the last bit of the game. Let's see if we can score. We're going to score two tries, don't we, Henry? Hey? All right, here we go. Here we go. Go, go. Front of the ball again, mate. Right, so you were there. So your position, you're going to work back here. Now. Okay, let's play the tackle again. Start again. Get in the ball. So your first receiver there. So now you can see the name on the ball. Alright, now you get the ball. Right, go. Yes, yes, well done, good. Good, good. well done. Touch. Oh, touch there, touch there. Hi, touch. Hi, hey. Touch, one over. Spread out. One over, one over. Now get in position. Get in position. Well done, well done, Asahi. Get in position, mate. Position in hide, position in hide. Oh, great touch. Great catch, well done, one over. Good work, mate. Touch there, touch there, touch there. One over, one over. No, turn over, play. Turn over. 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 Freddie, I love that, mate. Freddie, See, Freddie, how you work back to get in position. Oh, you're yeah. down the back side. Brilliant, mate. Well done. Well done. Okay, your ball, go. No, no. No. Oh, there he goes, little Dale. Dale could be the best winning try, Dale. Okay, two goals. Two goals. Guys, you did fantastically well today. Super rushy. Super rushy. So, but the three things we've got to remember for our next training session. So I want you to get into pairs now and, and talk to each other and tell each other what the three things you've got to remember. Just get in pairs quickly. Talk to the person next to you, make sure you know. Oh, my God.
Okay, okay, 10 seconds. I thought you'd be all. Okay, all back together, back together. So, girls, what's one point that you had? He touched on a point. So, you've got to know the name of your players. Because then you're showing respect. And you're showing you want to be part of a team. Okay, that's my second point. Action, action. Hidari Megi. Fantastic. Left, right. Third action. See the back of the player, fantastic. Guys, you improved so much during the session. You're obviously getting good coaching now. If you, if you remember those, remember those three things. Alright. So remember those three things, and every time the every time you come to rugby training, see how you can improve in those areas. Really well done. I want to congratulate one player today. So Dale was the best coach. But Reiko was the best cleaner out of it. She cleaned out everything. So you all did well. Let's all give you some thanks. So, Shitsumon Gari, must get any questions? Will you be here next training? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Anything else, guys? Yeah. How many tries have you scored? How many tries? Uh, we exceeded the number. Today, how many we scored? Not you. Uh, uh, not too many. <laughs> maybe 50 in my whole career. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. See, Dale said it was not bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, anything else guys? But the way you moved the ball at the end was fantastic. Are you going to Australia? Possibly. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Australia, Japan, America. America. And like, next week. New Zealand or bar the Barbarian? Which one do you think you're gonna you're gonna win? Barbarian. New Zealand or Barbarian? Which one? Barbarian. Barbarian. Sure. Who are your favorite teams to coach? Ah, the best team to coach. Who is it? Always loved coaching Japan. Japan was fun. Japan was fun. Japan was fun. Because we got to play really. Attacking rugby, which is what I love. Like. All the teams are good. Yeah, catching you guys today was fun. Today, you guys today was fun.